Hello everybody, I'm a single mom who likes to travel and visit friends and family all over the place. Many times I do videos in German, but this time in English. And I had the idea to travel by train approximately 1,500 kilometers from Berlin to Shrewsbury in the UK instead of going by plane. And I will walk you through all the connections I picked, how it went and provide a financial as well as time related comparison between train and plane travel in the end of the video. So if you're interested, stay Stay tuned. Our main part of the outward journey starts at Berlin Ostbahnhof around 7.30 am and was intended to finish before 9.30 pm in Shrewsbury at the most beautiful train station to look at from the outside that I know. If you know any prettier ones, let us know in the comments below. The travel schedule took us from Berlin to Amsterdam and left us 45 minutes to get onto the Eurostar, which initially seemed plenty, but after reading that 30 minutes before departure the ticket gates for the Eurostar close, I felt quite different about this. The plan was taking the Eurostar to London, St. Pancras, then taking the tube to London, Houston, and then either to take a direct train to Shrewsbury or switch in Birmingham International Airport. One connection earlier would have been way too early as it would have started around 5 a.m. So that was not an option for me. The train started on time and Berlin was giving us a nice farewell with a twinkle of the television tower and blue skies. I was a bit nervous throughout the six hour leg of the journey going till Amsterdam Central because of its tight time frame for getting onto the Eurostar. Our train remained on time and it did until Amersfoort a few stops before Amsterdam Central and the train suddenly stopped after having started to accelerate for leaving the station and stayed for about 10 minutes. The announcement from the conductor was not comprehensible and we arrived at Amsterdam with an official time frame of 3 minutes to find the Eurostar ticket gates. Somehow I hadn't understood the provided visual about the Eurostar building at Amsterdam Central and I thought we would have to go up somewhere, but it turned out it's a building on platform 1 that we need to get to, which was fortunately already on our platform on arrival and our coach stopped super close to that building. So I rejoiced inside when I saw that we went through ticket scan, luggage and passport check and had to wait in a quite cramped waiting area standing. My daughter managed to conquer an empty seat and on time we were allowed on the platform which had been blocked off to the rest of the public. So we went to our seats which had been assigned upon booking. I don't know what I was thinking when we were traveling but I took no pictures of inside the train. Our original seats were not next to any window, but we were allowed to switch after asking the conductor. And then we had seats next to a window to look out from. All I can say after all that the Eurostar wasn't so impressing food-wise. The snacks on the train were quite plain. I would even go to say it's worse than Deutsche Bahn. There were sandwiches, crisps, coffee, soft drink and that was it. No warm meals or anything. The only nice thing there available that I found remarkable was available ice cubes. The train soon showed to have technical difficulties and ran slower than usual. We stood waiting in Brussels and I actually saw another Eurostar pass us. We ended up having more than one hour delay upon arrival in London. I had hoped to catch a direct train to Shrewsbury, but we arrived so late that there was no such connection anymore. I had to install the Arriva app, training Wi-Fi wasn't really reliable when I tried that, and I tried to book the next available connection. The ticket somehow didn't show up for several minutes, so I saw myself forced to book again. Later I saw the double ticket and cancelled one, and Arriva kept £10 cancellation fee. We arrived past 11.30 pm in Shrewsbury, even that connection had slight delay. My daughter was long tired and really had trouble following me along. After finally arriving we came to enjoy a nice time in Shrewsbury, which will be content of another video on its own. Let's go on to the backwards journey. The Eurostar in London going back to Berlin was due to leave around 3 pm, so I wanted buffer time for travel and I was right. Our first train had announcement for delay. My tip here is check the connections and route of 
your train and the app when it's announced to be late and we got off in the wrong station and not in Birmingham New Street which would have been more useful and actually then we ended up taking another train which made us arrive later than necessary. The further journey however itself went on okay. We switched from train to tube in London Houston and went to St. Pancras. I bought a few snacks at St. Pancras. And then we went through a ticket and passport check to arrive at a super crowded waiting area that barely could hold all the waiting passengers. We sat next to a space dedicated for elderly and people with limited mobility. Finally, it was time to board the train. Yeah. The journey to Brussels went on without any mention-worthy incidents. We didn't make use of the bistro. And we arrived on time in Brussels Midi. where I came to see that they had built its own terminal for the Eurostar. The last leg of our journey was our trip with the night train, which I already have posted a video on. Feel most welcome to watch that. And finally, the comparison of the travel schedules. So looking at the outward journey, the backward journey really doesn't count because the night train takes considerably longer. Altogether, it took us 14 hours to get to Shrewsbury. If I, in comparison, look at the plane trip, going to the airport, it takes approximately three hours, including going through security. The flight itself lasts about two hours and getting to Shrewsbury another two hours. So that's seven hours. So altogether, I reach a time difference of seven hours. Comparing the travel costs. Altogether, I paid more than 870 euros, whereas with the plane, it would have been around 460 euros. That actually makes a difference of almost being twice as expensive to go by train from starting point to destination. And looking at the pros going by train, just London Berlin, it would have been a 3.5 hour delta. And you also arrive in the middle of the town. You don't have to travel to the airport. You don't have any suitcase or liquids limits that you have to watch here. And also at the train stations, the food is less expensive. Also, you don't have to show your ticket upon purchase in the train station. Like like at the airport, which I don't like since I don't like to be tracked. And depending on the source, it's 10 to about 26% less carbon dioxide emissions that you cause going by train. The plane advantages here is if you have a certain distance to travel, it gets more time efficient. And also many times it's sadly less expensive in my opinion. The security around traveling by plane is higher and you have a higher reach going internationally and also going to islands for example. 
Both travel types have loyalty programs, you have lounges to hang out in and you might encounter cramped waiting spaces. And on both sides you have certain possibility to move around. Are you missing any important aspects? Add a comment below. My conclusion here. Altogether, that was an interesting experiment for me. I wouldn't repeat exactly, but modify it. And if I went to the UK again by train, I would connect it going to the Netherlands as well. If you start out in Amsterdam or Brussels or nearby, it's really convenient to go by Eurostar. I was a bit shocked by the tube and train prices in the UK, which cannot compete with the plane travel. And I find that quite sad. So I hope that in the future, public transport and governments will collaborate and aim to actually make it more of a comparable feature. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you found it informative. Please like, share and subscribe. I would be most excited to see you back on my channel again very soon. Bye bye.